And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Dubrelosaurus, which was a request from Francis and his Allosaurus via Patreon and Discord. So thank you. I also want to mention that the type specimen for Dubrelosaurus is a juvenile or at least a subadult. And so quick shout out to 914 in our Discord because we discussed a little bit about talking more about kid dinosaurs. Dubrelosaurus was a megalosaurid theropod that lived in the Jurassic and what is now Normandy, France, in the Con Formation. Dubrelosaurus had distinct traits that included a long, low skull that was three times longer than its height. And again, the holotype is a subadult. The fossils found include most of the skull, parts of the lower jaw, vertebrae, ribs, gastralia, caudals, chevron, part of the scapula, a claw from the hand, a partial thigh bone, part of a shin bone, partial fibula, metatarsal, and more. And it's one of the most complete megalosaurid skulls known. Gregory Paul estimated Dubrelosaurus to be about 16 feet or 5 meters long and weigh 550 pounds or 250 kilograms, but this is based on the subadult, so as an adult it was probably even bigger. Yeah, that wouldn't be too big for an adult megalosaurid. Mm -hmm. It didn't have a crest or horns, but it's possible that it grew them as it aged. Again, only a subadult has been found. It probably had short, powerful arms with three fingers on its hands, too, similar to its relatives. The type species is Dubrelosaurus vallis dunensis. André Dubré, mayor of Conteville in Normandy at the time, discovered dinosaur fossils in an abandoned quarry where the land was being restored. And he found a partial skull and some ribs and let the National Museum of Natural History in France know. And this led to excavations, which... It didn't start until 1998 after the quarry was redeveloped, so the fossil material had been spread by a bulldozer, and they had to dig and sieve the rock. Oof. Yes, so about 2,000 fragments of bone were found, and they were between 0.4 to 4 inches, or 1 and 10 centimeters. Wow. That's a lot of work. Yes. And so by 2002, the fossils were still being prepared. Dubrelosaurus was Ronan Alain's thesis. And at the time in 2002, he named it Pochilopleuron with a question mark, but Pochilopleuron vallis dunensis, a new species. And their question mark is there because the genus naming was tentative. Again, they're still going through all these bone fragments. And for reference, Pochilopleuron was a megalosauroid that lived around the same time and place, but the type species was named in 1836. In 2005, Ronan Alain found it to be a distinct genera. There were a lot of distinct traits, including the long, low skull. And so he renamed the dinosaur to Dubrelosaurus in honor of the Dubrel family. So the genus name means Dubrel's lizard. Sorry if I missed it. Why after the Dubrel family? Because André Dubrel, the mayor of Conteville, was the one who discovered the fossils. Oh, that makes sense. The species name Valles Dunensis refers to where the Battle of Valles Dunes happened, which was nearby, where William the Conqueror and King Henry I from France fought and won against rebel Norman barons in 1047. So during the time Dubrelosaurus lived, Europe was a bunch of islands, and Dubrelosaurus was found in marine sediment and lived on the coast. The fossils were found in situ mangrove roots, which means the water wasn't too deep. So it may have hunted and ate fish. It's not known for sure. But this is partly based on the fact that the holotype of Pochilopleuron bucklandii was found with fish fossils. So Dubrelosaurus was found on an island, but it doesn't appear to be a dwarf dinosaur. Other animals that lived in the same time and place include ammonites, elasmo branches, which is a group that includes sharks, rays, and skates, and other fish. There was also driftwood found in the area. And you can see Dubrelosaurus in the Le Paleospace L'Odyssee Museum in Normandy, France. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 